Hello everyone. In this example, I'm going to show you guys how to do your nominal versus real interest rates. Um, so this is the example from class. Uh, as you can see, I'll read the problem. Uh, we have three banks in different countries and want to know where it is best to put our money. So obviously we're looking for the highest interest rate. Okay. Um, if you look at this, so these are the quotes that you'd be getting. So basically you're going to be like, well, you can make 13% in this bank, 8% here, or you can make 6% here. So if you had to go off nominal rate, we would definitely be saying, let's go to Chadwick National Bank. Okay, so with that 13%. However, we want um, to think about, well, there could be inflation. So let's find the real rates, and we'll determine off that. So I can tell you right now that um, the formula in the book says 1 plus R, and 1 plus R is basically saying 1 plus R real rate is equal to 1 plus your nominal, I'll say n, that's what I'm going to denote it, divided by 1 plus i. And i is our, um, rate of, or our inflation rate. So this could, would actually equal, r is equal to 1 plus n, oops, divided by 1 plus our inflation rate. And actually I'm going to double bracket these. Okay. And we're going to want to subtract out 1, right? Because that's just doing some simple algebra. So that's what we get, OK? So that's the formula that we're going to be using here. So I just said we're going to do 1 plus this 13% divided by oops, 1 plus our inflation rate minus 1. And you can see that we get 4.63%. So let's do that again. You could just drag it down from here if you want. Take this box and drag it down. And you can get uh, your answers. But let's do it again for practice. So we said 1 plus our nominal rate divided by 1 plus, oops, sorry guys, I put this in the wrong one. Make sure that's on the 8. 1 plus our um, inflation rate minus 1. And then let's do it for the last one again. Equals 1 plus our nominal divided by 1 plus our inflation rate minus 1. So as you can see, um, this example completely changes uh, when you actually look at real rates. So like I said before, we would, we would have went with the public of Chadwick National Bank if we uh, were looking at just nominal rates. However, when we look at real rates, we'd be going with Morasco, the, the empire of Morasco National Bank, because we're actually earning more in the real term. Um, for, uh, we're earning more in real terms, so we'll go with uh, Morasco. And that's basically how you tackle any nominal versus real interest rate problem. Um, like I said, this is from last semester's test, so I'm sure you should be expecting something kind of like this. And uh, I hope that you guys find it nice and easy and you understand the algebra that we just did over here. And um, we could also ask you to solve for any of those, right? We could ask you to solve for nominal if I give you real and inflation rate. Uh, I could ask you to find your inflation rate if I give you nominal and real. So keep that in mind too. So brush up on your algebra, brush up on your algebra skills if you have to. And uh, well, you'll do great on the test then. So if you have any questions, please let us know.